What is going on guys? My name is Matt Alive. Welcome to another tech tutorial video. In this tech tutorial video I'm going to show you how to install Rocketer. Um, so I don't know if, it's, if it says Rocketer, but uh, Rocketer is the new CMS that just been released and it looks simply like WordPress at the moment, but it is in beta. So Rocketer, um, it took me like figure out how to install it and stuff. To install it you need uh, no basic coding and know how to um, put in the MySQL database into a simple file and also a password which it could take a while for you to um, do that so it's really cool um, uh, it's a really cool CMS but the thing is that it didn't give you many instructions how to log in to the administrator panel so it took me 10 minutes to figure out how to do it um, but anyways it comes with news blog forms and about every time I go to forms it always crashes my website for some reason maybe Maybe it's my hosting or some sort, like if I click on it, click on this, and click on this, the website just sort of not crashes, actually? Oh, it didn't crash, but for some reason it did crash, but uh, yeah, it does have forms on here, so um, there's not many themes for this um, CMS, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do this, I'm going to pretty much delete all of the files on this website so I can start from scratch again. So here we go. So after deleting all those files that took a while to delete, um, <clears throat> you have to go to a website. Um, since I delete all the files, I deleted it, everything. So you go to rocketercms.com. Now, just to let you know guys, this is in beta and it does have to require um, a PHP 5.3 or 5.4 and if if that doesn't work on a website there's a simple way how to do it that um, I'll give you the code in the description to do a simple way how to do that and pretty much is in beta but it works pretty fine um, the guy who made this um, was the director um, creative director at XSplit <clears throat> So you could try to demo it yourself, but right now we are going to download it. You go to the downloads folder, it's pretty much just going to download right here and open up the folder. Unconfirm download. And that never happened to me before, but anyways, here it is the simple file. You right click and extract. So this will take a while to extract, so pretty much a couple seconds. Look at all those files it has on there. Ooh, it's almost it's only eight megabytes, so I don't know why it's taking that much long. The process is going to be f powerful. It depends how uh, big your PC is. So right now we got the file. Uh, you do not upload this. It's very very important. You do not upload this. So here's the examples. Um, no, actually. I think it's stuck in memory. Okay, this is how you get started. This is how I figure everything out. If you get a couple of these errors, you read this. Click on before you install. And right now it tells you everything before you install. Hosting uh, it. And just to let you know, you cannot ha you can't install it into a subdomain. It has to be uh, www.yourwebsite.com. It can't be for slash your website or site or index or anything because I it won't work. It will not work because they're they're trying to fix that, but um, because it is in beta. So just keep that in mind. It's in beta. Here's the instructions for it, and some of these instructions can be difficult. So after that, you go to your FTP um, software which I use FileZilla you click connect and let's connect to my website so right here um, you go to Rocketer uh, files now you copy all of these files right here except for Mac and the MySQL why is this why is it highlight I don't want it highlighted okay drag all of these and then paste it into your file root folder um, on your web hosting 
and you always click, it always does this, but always click, um, always use this action and click OK. And it will take a while since it has over a thousand files. So I'm going to like pause this video and come back when it's done. After being installed, um, here is all the uh, files I put into it. So right now it took about five to eight minutes to uh, put it into your um, file manager, which is FileZilla. You refresh the page. So right now you'll get an error code right here. So if you go back to the installation and go back and go to um, here, Man manually it is that uh, you have to have, um, means your server is not running, what's it called, PHP 5.3 or more. Here's the simple trick to do this. Here it is right here. Here's the code. Now, you copy this, and then you go to your FileZilla, go to your HT Access file, go to View Edit, and pretty much paste it on the very top right here, and you click Save. And after that, you refresh, and now you're on to the next step which is database error. So, you go back, um, what's it called? The database settings right here. It's telling you that you should go to applications forward slash confront forward slash database dot PHP. Now, let's go back to applications. Oh, sometimes FileZilla does this. Uh, connect. Okay, applications, confront confront or whatever it's called. I can't say it right so I call it confront. And you go to database and view and you get all of this right here. <clears throat> now so far you must create a database username and password to do this. Now to create a database uh, username and password you have to go to your hosting provider um, or if you're using a uh, local host, um, I don't know how to do that. You have to look it up online how to make uh, a database local host with MySQL. So right now, don't mess with these. Mess with these settings right here that I'm going to show you how to do. So right now, you go back to your hosting panel and you go to uh, MySQL and create MySQL database. Now. This is all the MySQL database I have because I make um, websites and stuff. Like I really love doing them. So you go to create new database. I'm going to create one and this is going to be um, a test. Because I'm going to create a test database. which so Because um, I'm not really creating a real database because I'm going to uninstall this uh, software and reinstall it to make it my own website. And then you go to add new user, and I'm going to create, call it test again. Uh, I recommend you um, naming it somewhere else, like a different number at the end of it. And then you have to create a really strong password. Do not make a password that is um, that is a word or something. But I'm going to anyways, because the password is going to be called test123, because like I said, it's test. But if you don't know what password you want you create a generate password and you get this little password right here and you can copy and paste this in the notepad file and save it if you don't remember what the password is so but right now you could create your own password i'm going to type in test.123 test123 and you create user okay so database has been created um you go back Okay, you go to the bottom right here, click Add to Database, you go to Test, and click on Test, and you click Add. It makes it so they're connected with each other. Click on All, and say Make Changes. And right now, you should be able to get uh, a test. Username should be Test, or whatever you name it to. So it can be something else. It could be like your website, or a different number, or anything. And here's your database. Uh, like I said, I recommend naming your database into a different name. Do not name as your user like I did because I'm an idiot. Um, something like that. But um, let's go back. 
uh, to where it says username right here. You copy and paste this, and where it goes to database, you copy your database name, and you copy and paste it. And where it says password, you type in your password right here. Like I said, make a really strong password. Now, host name. Some web hosts, web hosts um, out there will be like, um, we recommend you uh, putting this code right here. Some will be like, just just keep as local host. But if your web host doesn't have a local host, they recommend you, uh, they give you like a uh, address or something like that. Like this right here, you can use both. Like just host says you can either use local host or just 91.justhost.com. But I'm going to keep you as local host right now. So right now, I am pretty much going to save it. And let's save this bad boy. And let's go to the website itself. So you, here's the next step. Now, table settings right here do not exist. Remember that file I told you not to upload? I'm talking about this right here. This file, simple db please import me dot sql. This is a very important file. And if you delete it, you have to download it again. So you go back to your hosting provider or cPanel or whatever it's called and you go down to database tools and click on PHP my admin every cPanel has this so if it doesn't then there's something wrong with your cPanel <clears throat> now here is the PHP my admin thing now it takes a while to load for my hosting for some reason it takes a while now at the side right here uh, I made something called test. Remember that username and um, database name called test? I'm going to click on it because that's what I named it to. Now, you waited for it to load again. I don't know why it's taking so slow. Um, it just does. Now, you click on import. Now, this is very important. You click on import. You click on choose files. Now, you go to downloads. Click on the folder, click on Sample DP Import Me. You click on Open and you click on Go. Okay, after when you click on Go, uh, you should be finished with your next step. And there you go, you simply installed it. And it is there to use. But the thing is, what is the, where is the admin panel? Where do you go from there? So you go to your um, upper left corner of your URL bar and type in admin. Now this is the admin panel right here. Now um, since you don't know what the username or email or password is since the since it didn't came with the instruction guide um, I contact the owner on Twitter he said that the email should be admin at admin.com and the password is admin one two three you click on log in and you should be able to log into your database I, I mean into your into your control panel on rocketer so to to edit the password and username for the rocketer you go to click on users you click on this little simple tool right here make sure there's says uh, admin user username admin at group administrator click on this little tool right here and you can change the username if you wanted to and you can change the email you can change the images and you can create a new password right here and you click on update but yeah that's how you simply installed rocketer on your website it's pretty much easy and I pretty much showed you how to do it in less than 20 minutes so yeah, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Gonna be bitchin'.